the Africa Centre started at the end of the 1990s in response to a, a call for applications by the Wellcome Trust for a population-based research centre. HIV was introduced in the area in the sort of early 90s and then it sort of grew exponentially during the 90s and it's still very, very high levels of, uh, of HIV but what is most uh, disconcerting is the fact that the, new, the acquisition of new infections is still incredibly high. Um, so that out of 100 negative people at the beginning of the year, uh, about four will become infected by the end of the year, which is, for a generalised epidemic, still a very uh, high rate of, uh, of new infections. It is a, a rural area, um, which is on the, uh, uh, the east coast of, uh, of South Africa. Uh, it's about two and a half hours north of Durban. The population are Zulu-speaking uh, people. It used to be one of the homelands for, for Zulu people uh, under, in the apartheid day. And it has a lot of remnants of that. Unemployment rates are about 80%, uh, which is especially a problem for, for young people. And then the Africa Centre provides uh, a lot of jobs. We, we have about um, 500 plus people that we employed at the Africa Centre and the vast majority of those are local people. So we are, we are important in that regard, economically. But then also we are important because we provide the service, especially in the, in the healthcare, uh, especially with the HIV and TB focus. And, you know, people are coming into the area to get their, their healthcare because they know that they get healthcare that is much better than they can get elsewhere. Each year we, we provide HIV tests for about 30,000 people in the area and we've got a large programme and a lot of focus on mother-to-child transmission and the prevention of mother-to-child transmission and it's partly because I'm very interested in that. So we know very well what the needs are, we know how many people are infected and, and that there is a very large need. Um, what we can now also start seeing is that uh, by putting a lot of people on, on treatment we are actually um, changing the, the, the phase of HIV within, within the area, we're keeping people alive. We've now also identified that um, there are two trials that we really need to do to try and intervene in the, um, in the epidemic in, in the area. One is the, is the group, or the target group would be young people, where we need to help young people to not acquire HIV infection. And then on the other hand, uh, we want to help people who are already uh, infected to stop them transmitting it to, to other people. So we are starting, we, we're doing some pilot work um, to, to inform the design of these two, two trials uh, that would target both of these, uh, these groups and that's, that, that would be the sort of work that we will be doing over the next five years or so. You know, it's important that people actually understand what is happening in these sort of epidemics if you want to do something about educating people or uh, intervening in people.